So I got a bit inspired by YouTubers making vanilla JavaScript games in the browser. So that led me to this game, which is like an Otello style game where your goal is to be a chef and to flip burgers faster than there are burgers arriving basically. So I think we can start by looking through the HTML. First I just import my own style sheet with my own styling and I also use tachyons which is just a library of classes. If we look here TC is from tachyons it means text align center. We have PT classes that's for like padding top there's also padding bottom and padding vertical horizontal padding all sides and so on. Flex is for display flex. I think you get it really. I, I really like to use a framework like that for, for, uh, for working faster. So let's start. We have the title, we have the new game button, we have a form to determine one or two players. Then we have an indicator, which is this one, uh, for what player is next. Then we have the score. And then um, we have a board, which is empty, but the, the like contents in the board is rendered with JavaScript. And then we have just a font here. And then lastly, we import uh, the script. Um, of course, you can have it in the head and use the DOM content loaded event uh, before you start running JavaScript. But I usually just do it like this. Okay, let's get into the fun part, the JavaScript. So I'm in my script.js file and it's structured with first functions, then constants, then variables, and then references to DOM elements. And so let's look at the first function. I won't go into detail on every function. I will just show you the name of the function and what it's used for. So I won't go through every line. If you want to see every line, you can follow the link to the GitHub repo and, and read it. But the first function is create brick HTML, takes in a color and then returns the HTML of one of those bricks in the game. Get count counts a given color, returns uh, the count of that color. The update score is responsible for updating these two scores here. Update next player display and passes in a color, uh, it will flip this if needed to the current player that goes next. The get available positions. Um, this one is to look at a board state and given what player goes next, figure out what spots will cause flips. Uh, because on those spots we want to draw these empty circles so we show the player what options they have because you can only place tiles where it will cause flips. Uh, and this will count how many flips a position will uh, cause will cause flips count. Get tiles in direction and uh, that would be given a certain coordinate and a certain direction we would get every tile if we follow that direction to the end of the board. Get tile from coordinate uh, that would take a coordinate on the board and return the DOM element for it clear value positions, that would be to clear out all those uh, empty circles. And the opposite here, update value positions, that would redraw the value positions on the, on the given board state. Flip from position, so this is when we place a tile and we want to cause the flips that would result of that move. And so that is handled inside this function. Update tiles from board. That is when the JavaScript representation of the board has changed and we want the DOM to follow along with that change, then we would call this function. Place brick. That would be to um, put the brick in the actual DOM. Uh, end game. That's when we see that there are no more moves that you can do, so we should count the score, we should say draw or alert if the chef wins or the burgers win and then we restart the game. Add tiles, this is for the initial step to uh, fill the board with the uh, tiles. 
start game. So this is where the like main logic of the game or like the initial setup of the game uh, takes place. So it like creates the tiles, sets the starting player, creates this empty array for the board state. It sets the tiles to blank HTML, uh, which is just an empty tile. And then it creates these four uh, starting bricks that you can see here. Uh, sets the initial score from, from that state and updates the player display to the starting player. In this function we first set a data attribute in the DOM that would represent the coordinate and after that we create uh, the JavaScript the representation of the board from this given initial state. Then we update the valid positions and then we add the click event to every tile where we First check that the position clicked is valid, that it will cause flips. And then we update the score, swap the player, and then inside this if statement is the, the game AI if you've chosen to play by yourself. So inside this is where the like uh, computer AI logic exists. It's not super advanced, it just checks every position and figures out what would give me the most flips and it chooses that location and it waits for one and a half second just to communicate the sense of the computer like thinking figuring out the position now we're on to the constants and uh, so we have the directions up up right right down right down down left left up left here we have the blank tile html a variable that says how many players are we and that is changed whenever we change this radio button form here uh, and here are all the reference to elements in the DOM we have the board wrapper uh, called tiles wrapper uh, we have the score displays the start button the player indicator wrapper the player indicator tile the number of players form and here we have event listeners for the change of the number of players form and also the start button that just starts the game by calling the start game function and of course the last thing we do is actually start the game so that's about it feel free to check out the code in github i also deployed the game to netlify under burgerflip.netlify.app so you can try it out feel free to remix it or do whatever you want with it yeah that's about it there are lots of more javascript content coming up so subscribe if you want to but only if you like the content, otherwise don't subscribe. That's it for this time. Bye,